Today, I want to talk about marketing plan. What can you do in a very easy and a constructive way? Hey, this is Pam Dinner here. I'm a B2B marketing consultant, author, and a speaker. This is a part two of the three-part series on how to create the best marketing plan for 2021. If you haven't seen part one, you should definitely check that out first. If you have seen it, let's get started. Seven key elements of a marketing plan. Number three is, do you have any specific product launches or any kind of services announcement that's coming? Can you put that in a very holistic view? It's very important to showcase a summary level of the product launches timeline. And this can be in terms of if you are big companies, chances are you have a multiple uh, launches, you know, the tier one launch and then soft launch. And some of them might be just uh, PR releases, right? Or disclosures. So you have to kind of identify what they are and put it in this format, which is from January to December, what are some of the key launches that the management needs to be aware of. And also, if you actually are working very closely with the direct sales and the indirect sales team, you can also identify when you will do the training for the indirect sales, such as channel partners. When are you gonna do a road show? When are you gonna do an event to somehow um, promote and uh, amplified your product messages. Does that make sense? So this is kind of like high level and it does require you to talk to your product team, talk to your business units, talk to your sales, talk to a different marketing peers to put this specific slide together. It is, it is work. So the benefit of a product timeline, you put it in this format, it will help the senior management understand holistically, right? The whole year, what are some of the key focuses and also the product launches that you are going to pay attention to and you allocate the budget and the resources to make it happen. By looking at this, they can provide some feedback in terms of, okay, for this specific product launches, maybe that should not be our focus. We should focus on something else. Or, you know, for this soft launches, we need to dial up or whatnot. Or should we move this product launches like closer to our earning announcements? Does that make sense? So it's a conversation that needs to happen with your management. This can be something that you need to put together. Like I said, it's a lot of work. Put together and then use this to guide and share with everybody. And have this kind of high level timeline can rally everybody to move everyone toward the same directions. So this will be everybody's key focus. Again, this is kind of like a supporting document of a previous slide. Now you put this in kind of like a table format, right? In the previous slide is a summary level and this one you provide a little bit more details in terms of the, the name of the launches, the objectives that you want to accomplish and also what are something new that you are doing or some of the challenges that management needs to be aware of that help you to overcome or give your budget to actually solve that. So I talk about three elements already, the two pager, the persona, and also the very high level uh, product launch timeline that you should use to rally everybody. Number four is the messaging framework. It's basically what you can say about your product. This is a messaging template I created. It has provide huge amount of help for all my clients, especially on B2B side. I know that on the messaging, there's a lot of uh, templates and methodologies out there really talking about storytelling. And I think the storytelling part of it is very, very critical, but this is more in terms of, hey, I put everything you know, in the format to actually drive the conversation with my management, right? So you started with your products, what is your value proposition and the target audience, right? And the tie that to uh, three customer challenges. What are some of the customer challenges that um, your customer encounter? Then you identify the features, the product features that can solve the customer challenges, preferably very specific features of your product that will actually connect or tie to the customer challenge. Then you translate the features to a specific user benefits, right? You can basically say Luminex, I'm talking about the camera right now, you know, R85 have this feature of 4K uh, amplifications. Then you can talk about, and that's assumed that's your feature. Then you can talk about 
what is the user benefit of using that specific product feature, say, you know, recording the video uh, using 4K, right? Then the next thing is features, uh, benefits, and then keywords. What are some of the keywords that you uh, need to capture as a part of the messaging framework? And that information is super critical for content marketers. Once they get this messaging frameworks, they go, uh-huh, uh-huh, understand those are customer challenges. I get it, I get it. Okay, those are the features that tie and connect it to, and can address the customer challenges. All right, I got that too. And here's the user benefit. Oh, these are the keywords I can use. Yay! So you are helping the content marketers by providing that additional information. I would uh, suggest that you check my messaging framework videos to get additional insights. You just watch the third elements and the fourth elements of making the best marketing plan for 2021. So which step do you think is most helpful? The high level launch plan timeline type of template or the messaging framework? Let me know. So stick around to watch the part three of the series. That will be the last part. If you like this video, please click like, subscribe, and click on the notification bell so you will get more videos from me in the future. I hope to see you around. Take care. Bye.